Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to install Flutter on a completely new Mac device. And yeah, before we move forward, please hit the subscribe button as we are very close to 1000 subscribers. So, let's get started. You can see we have the their official website. And this is an awesome build website. Okay, now what you need to do next is just I'm going to click on this get started button and we will download the SDK. We'll just click on this link and this will download the Mac OS SDK for us. It is it is around 1 GB and so you have to just wait for a little bit. And you can here you can see these are the system requirements for installing Flutter on our device. And yeah, by the time I, let me just open up the terminal and here you can see if I write git. This will show us there is no command named as kit because this is a completely new Mac device. So we have to install command line developer tools on our Mac. This will take a little while so I am just speed forwarding the video for you. And the best part about Mac is that uh, it will automatically decompress the file which we have downloaded. So now just uh, visit any application folder and here you have to press you have to press control and up arrow and you will be redirected to the user folder where we have application library system user in it and we'll click on user and here you can see this is my username and from there we will create a new folder and we'll write that folder name as developer and in this we will be placing our flutter sdk okay all clear and here you can see we have our flutter sdk installed uh, actually it is not just installed we have to just uh, copy this command into our map so we will just wait for a while for this uh, command line tool to download okay you can see the software was installed so git and every other functionality that comes along with command line tool has been installed on mac i'll just again open up the terminal and here what we need to do is you can first see we have git installed now as, as I write flutter you can see there is no command name flutter on our mac for now so we have to add flutter to our environment variable variable so we have to add flutter command to our mac os path how we can do that see uh, we have to just write this command and if the file exists with this name then it will uh, override that file and if it doesn't then it will create a new file this will this will be automatically done by the command you can see the all the commands that i will be writing in this tutorial in the description you just need to write export path and here you have to just copy the same thing that is written on their official website and open up the finder and again just click on app any folder and con control and up arrow and you will be redirected to this page or rather folder and just drag that bin folder there path of the flutter directory and bin okay so we have this export here you can see so many options we will just save this file it is clear we'll just echo our path for a while so that uh, it is synced in our mac you can see now we'll just exit and open the terminal again we'll like flutter and it's just downloading every dark SDK and other functionality that will be used by Flutter to our Mac OS. Okay, as I fast forwarded the video, here we have everything set up on our Mac. <laughs> not, not, not yet. Don't worry, we are we have to set up so many things on our Mac. Now you can see we have our Flutter SDK set up. Now we'll just go to Google and we will search Visual Studio Code. This is the code editor that I would suggest everybody to use because it is very functional to me. And open up the terminal and if you like Flutter Doctor, this will this is the command that will tell you what issues we have on our Mac. As you can see, we don't have Android Toolchain, we don't have Xcode installed, we don't have Chrome installed, which will be used for Flutter web application. So you can see we have the we have to just get all these things installed. Android Studio is also not installed. So we will just uh, move forward, um, as we move forward we will keep installing on this thing and complete this Mac OS tutorial. Just exit the terminal. Here you can see this is the official website for Visual Studio Code. 
from here we can see we have there are so many options like for windows for linux or for mac os i will just click on mac os and this will uh, ask us to download okay i guess it is downloading yes it is so here you can see the mac os is decompressing the file for us and here we got visual studio code we will just drag this visual studio code to our application folder and in application folder just uh, double click on this visual studio code and also you can see this is very fine the package will just wait for a while for this to work okay i guess it's taking much more time very fine visual studio code visual studio code open okay here we got our visual studio code successfully run on our mac just wait for it to open i'll just okay get started with vs code now as you can see uh, this is a completely new um, setup so we have to install few plugins and also some theme and icon themes that that is my personal favorite so i'll be showing you all of that in just a while this is the package flutter package and as you install flutter package the dart package automatically gets installed alongside it after that uh, i'll just search for this uh, material theme uh, just wait for a while uh, here you can see we have this material icon theme and material theme also we'll just click on both material icon theme is the theme of every icon that you show that is displayed on your visual studio code section let me just fast forward the video for you because it will take a little bit and as you see we have everything installed successfully we'll just close the visual studio code for now and the next step that we need to do is just go to the google and here we have to search android studio as this will be helpful for android development we'll just download the android studio and alongside the android studio package we the android developers also provide the sdk alongside it so in one package you will get android studio alongside android sdk which would be helpful for developing android applications and just open up the terminal again and i'll just go to desktop and uh, grant all the permissions and now what we need to do next is we'll be creating a new flutter project for creating a new flutter project we have to write flutter create and the project name so let's say i am writing flutter create hello world okay so i have used that uh, we have to use that underscore because that would be an only considered a valid valid package name and just wait for a while for it to create the pack application for us okay so we got our project set up we well, actually not project set up we got our project created and we just migrate to that uh, project and if you see we are, if we write code and a uh, dot it will not open the vs code in that particular directly so we have to install the shell command for that we'll just press command shift and p and we'll search for shell I'll search for shell command. So if uh, it will ask for install code in a your path, we'll just click OK. And I guess it will ask for our password. We'll just enter our Mac password. Okay, shell command code has been installed successfully. We'll just write code and open up that particular directly in a new Visual Studio Code window. This uh, this would be very helpful to open up everything from that same terminal window. We don't have to just go and migrate to that folder in VS Code. Just open up everything from that same terminal window. Here you can see we have this library folder. This is a uh, this is an example project of Flutter. We have so many options there: Flutter, Web, and then Library, iOS, Android. This is the main main dot dart file in which uh, which is the basic first which is the first file that will open when uh, app is loaded. So we got our Android Studio uh, downloaded. Let me just install the Android Studio for you. We'll just drag the Android Studio to our application folder, and we'll open. It will just copy the Android Studio for us. 
it is around 1.8 gb okay so this will take time and let me just fast forward the video for you i'll just you can and this is an some this is a new mac so i have to do all this thing we'll just open application folder and here you can see android studio and in android studio i'll just drag it to my dock so that i can open it whenever i need and it'll just this will verify the android studio for the first time this will take a little while so i'm just fast forwarding the video again this is now a ritual of fast forwarding the video but don't worry i'm just saving your time as you don't have to watch video all this would be a custom install we'll just click next you can see this is a path for java jdk java jdk i'm sorry and i have to just click everything you just keep on clicking next 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 this is a simple installation you don't have to worry about anything this will download everything and we have, as you can see we got our android studio setup so next step that you can do is we can just visit the avd avd manager and we can create a new emulator for us in which we will execute our visual which in which we will execute our code that we write in flutter so i can just select this device as pixel excel and here are the different uh, system images for android here you can see you can select any of the images that you want marshmallow no gut api 31 or r android pie so many options are available so i'm just going with the latest one the script download this will download the sdk just accept the license of it this is around 1.2 gb let it download we can just wait for a while okay it is taking a little bit time okay it, it got them completed we'll just click on that package that we downloaded we'll click on next next finish this will create the android virtual device for us we'll open up the terminal again we'll just go to desktop hello world we'll just open the visual studio code window in that folder and we'll just quit the terminal for now we got our visual studio code open this is main.dart file and here you can see as i got everything set up now you can see on the right hand side um, you have it is written no device and we will just start the pixel excel emulator just wait for a while to load just wait for it to load i just fast forward it so you don't have to wait longer it is launching the package in our emulator rather it is the launching the initial project that comes alongside flutter to our emulator so i can just show that everything is working and all the setup of mac is completed the next step is you can see we have everything set up and this is the hello world application we we'll just close everything so for android development everything is set up now if you are an, if you are an ios developer also you just need to download export and everything would be set up for you uh, let me just open up the app store and just continue here you will search for export i'm not installing export in this tutorial that would be a pretty easy thing don't have the main part was of android studio just click on export and you will download the export from here and you are good to go so this was everything that you need for installing flutter thank you for watching the video do subscribe the channel and help us reach 1000 subscribers